The elimination of ponding water on a roof surface extends the life of a roofing membrane, reduces structural burden, and discourages mold and algae growth. Under panels tapered H-shield polyiso insulation is a sloped rigid foam insulation panel produced to promote positive drainage and meet roof configuration and drainage requirements. Under Panel's tapered design department will help with all facets of design process, from startup, design, training, and CAD. This video is part of an educational series on Hunter Panel's tapered polyiso installation. This segment covers what a typical tapered profile is and how to install it. Let's start with some of the basics. What is tapered polyiso? Tapered polyiso is typically a 4x4 four four foot piece of rigid foam insulation, where one side is thicker than the other, making a sloped panel. Slopes come in a variety of thicknesses, ranging from 1 16th of an inch to 1 half inch per foot. When the profile panels are assembled in a roof system, they provide elevation changes that work together to direct water off the roof and to a drain. Where are tapered polyiso insulation systems used? Tapered polyiso insulation systems can be installed from new construction or retrofit applications over a number of different decks, concrete, wood, gypsum, tectum, and metal. They are compatible with all membrane types and can be mechanically attached, fully adhered, or used in ballasted roofing systems. Now that you have the basic idea, let's get a bit more specific. What is a tapered profile? A tapered profile is essentially a roadmap, explaining how a tapered system is assembled. While manufacturer's designations for each panel may vary, the panels are consistent. A tapered panel repeat is the number of panels used in a single layer before fill is required. Tapered panels come in standard and extended panel profiles. We will elaborate on the benefits of extended panel profiles later in this video. A CAD drawing shows a series of profile sequences, put together in a design, directing water to a drain. When watching this animation of a 4x4 four four foot tapered panel, you will notice one side of the panel is thicker than the other. This is the slope. This particular panel has a 1 4th inch slope per foot. This profile is a repeated two-panel sequence, with initial X and Y panels and subsequent X and Y panel repeats. Every time the panels repeat, an additional layer of polyiso is added. Each tapered panel from Hunter Panels is stamped with a panel designation. Panel designation is a letter, which corresponds to a slope and a position in a profile. After you submit a set of plans to Hunter Panels' tapered department, you will be given shop drawings. These drawings indicate the slope and a basic layout of tapered panels on the roof to ensure shop drawing reference panel designation and fill. We start with our first tapered panel. This depends on the tapered system design and the minimum thickness used. In this case, we will be starting with the smaller panel in a 1 4th inch system, an X panel. X panels run from 0.5 inches to 1.5 inches. We lay the low end of the panel toward the drainage point, which can be a scupper, drain, drip edge, or gutter. The second piece of a standard 1 4th inch sequence is a Y panel, which runs 1.5 inches to 2.5 inches. Lay the 1.5 inch low edge of the Y panel against the 1.5 inch high side of the X panel we just laid down. Now we start the sequence over. Every time we start a new sequence, we need to add a layer of polyiso fill. In this sequence, the fill is 2 inch flat polyiso. We take our 2 inch flat polyiso board and snug it up to the 1.5 inch high side of our Y panel we installed. Next, we take an X panel and lay it over the flat piece of polyiso we just installed. The low side of the panel should be snug against the high side of the Y panel. In this instance, the 2 inch side of the flat panel, plus the 0.5 inch side of the X panel, match the height of the 2.5 inch side of the Y panel. Next we install another piece of 2 inch flat polyiso against the first piece of 2 inch flat polyiso. We then take a Y panel and lay it over the second piece of 2 inch flat and match the low side of the Y panel against the high side of the X panel. 
We have just shown you a regular 1 4th inch profile, which includes a two panel sequence with a two panel repeat. The sequence may repeat as many times as necessary. Each time a new sequence is added, an additional layer of 2 inch fill must be included in order to elevate a sequence to its intended height. To maintain a proper slope, each new panel repeat is 2 inches higher than the preceding sequence. Now we will discuss the differences between tapered standard and extended panel profiles. The basic difference is an extended profile consists of more tapered panels and less fill. They reduce labor in handling as fewer panels are installed. Using fewer fill panels in the construction of an extended panel's profile means less adhesive or hot asphalt, and saves time and material costs. Tapered profiles come in several slopes. All slope profiles follow the same principles of combining tapered and fill as you install the tapered system. Different profiles use different amounts of tapered panels before the sequence starts over and utilizes fill. Other standard and extended profiles are also available. For this video, we will be using a typical extended 1 4th inch profile. We start with an X panel. X panels run from 0.5 inches to 1.5 inches in thickness. We lay the low end of the panel toward the drainage point, which can be a scupper, drain, drip edge, or gutter. We then lay down the Y panel, which runs 1.5 inches to 2.5 inches in thickness, and lay the 1.5 inch edge against the 1.5 inch edge of the X panel we just laid down. The third panel in a typical 1 4th inch extended panel profile is the Z panel, which runs from 2.5 inches to 3.5 inches in thickness. We lay the panel down, matching the 2.5 inch low side of the Z panel to the 2.5 inch high side of the Y panel. The fourth and final panel in this panel sequence is the ZZ panel, which runs from 3.5 inches on the narrow end to 4.5 inches on the thicker end. Once the ZZ panel is laid down, it is time to do a panel repeat. We take a 4 inch piece of polyiso and lay it down against the last panel of the first panel sequence. In all instances, when you begin a panel repeat, you will notice your fill will not match up to the top of your previously laid panel. This space is for the first panel of your panel repeats, in this case an X panel. We have now begun to repeat the same pattern of panels we constructed before. The difference is, in order to continue the slope, we lay each piece down on top of a piece of fill. We have now completed a typical extended 1 4th inch profile with a 4 panel sequence and a 4 panel repeat. For your convenience, 100 Panels publishes tapered profiles in PDF and CAD file formats on their website. Hunter Panels manufactures energy-efficient polyiso insulation for commercial roofs. Hunter Panels Taper Design Department will help in all facets of your design process, from startup to design assistance and CAD. Whatever it takes is our motto. We are here to help.